Whew. We wake up every day with one intention. Get rid of the cancer, man. I keep moving all day, but mostly walking, just doing tasks around the house. Today is gorgeous day, 60 degrees. It's usually not this nice, uh, or it hasn't been. No alcohol, no tobacco, um, no chemicals like benzenes and sunscreens and all that, shampoos, conditioners. Uh, says eat real healthy, think whole foods, stay away from highly processed foods, sugars, and uh, that's what I've been doing for the last three months. And uh, I got my blood test. So here we are, three months in, and how am I eating and taking my pills still? Same as I always was, brat diet. <laughs> Nothing works better. And when I say that I get sick for a couple of an hours after I take it, not necessarily, it's just kind of like an unwell feeling, like it's tolerable. Uh, but I mean, you're not doing heavy duty exercises for a couple hours or, you know, just sitting in front of the computer, checking the emails, doing that kind of stuff. Um, so I got my non-fat yogurt and I'll switch back and forth from non-fat to fat especially when I had Corona and I wasn't really that hungry all the time. Um, I would get the full fat because I needed the calories, but right now I don't need those calories. And then the, I got these crunchy rice rollers and that's something I'll eat maybe in a half hour or so if I'm still hungry. I don't eat that at breakfast. Pretty much just toast, almond butter, banana, and yogurt. And then I got this Fossa knack, which is phosphorus. And uh, I was taking it in the mornings, but apparently you're not supposed to mix with calcium or dairy or anything. So um, I wait a couple hours uh, and take it after I take my pill uh, with another banana or some rice rollers or something. Um, it says to eat with a meal or, or food. So, all right, well, I'm going to get to it. Um, and take my pill. So, here comes the surprise. Uh, surprise to me, and I don't know exactly everything it means, and there'll be another video coming out, but on the 25th of October, I went in and got some more blood to send to Mayo to see how well my medication's working. And uh, when I first started this, you'll see that uh, they detected uh, a quadrant level of mutated BCR ABL1s and estimated it was right around 44.4%. And after two and a half months, roughly, of uh, imatinib or Gleevec, we... Are looking at one percent 